Well, what do you know? It's day 31 of the Aquarius experiment and I now have a microphone. It just got here today. Um, it's been a journey with it. Um, I should have gone with my gut and gotten it from the TikTok shop, but no, I had to be the Amazon girl. Anywho, so um, yeah. I'm Sarah Waggle. I'm an astrologer and a leadership coach, and this is day 31 of the Aquarius experiment. This is the last video that I will do about this series. I might do another longer form video for YouTube, but this is the last one that I'm going to do in this format. Um, and so I'm going to be shifting gears. This is going to be now an Instagram post uh, and on my YouTube community section post um, because I'm going to be shifting this into the Aquarius self experiment and um what that means or what that looks like is that i am going to put into practice the things that i have been talking about with the aquarius experiment as in the physical body the mental body the emotional body the spiritual body the energetic body um, i'm going to put in, in those into practice into a daily practice and so you are welcome to join me on this journey um, contact me directly, drop a comment if you are interested in seeing what it's all about. Um, I'm basically going to use the month of September as like a trial run. Um, I do have one other person joining me and I don't know how consistent they will be, but if you are interested in joining me, um, that would be awesome. Um, I'm just giving it a test run to see how it works, how it flows with regular daily life. Um, but I will be implementing practices that incorporate all of the different things that I've talked about over the last month. So drop me a comment below. I would love to know what have you learned? What is one takeaway that you have from the Aquarius experiment? What's something that you, oh, that that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, and also what other questions do you have? Because for me, like I, I, I can only go with what I know, but if you have questions or like where I need to fill in a gap or something, I would love to know that. So we talked about the solar plexus chakra. We talked about feeling into your gut. We talked about the root chakra, um, and feeling, you know, feeling yourself rooted into the earth. Um, we talked about uh, all kinds of things from your spiritual gifts and your clairs and, you know, knowing, sensing, feeling, touching, hearing, seeing, all of those things. Um, we talked about some crystals and some tools that you can use for cleansing um, and clearing and resetting. We talked about getting grounded and what that looks like and what that means. Um, and then I talked yesterday about digital detoxing and EMFs and things like that. And so, um, of those things, I'm sure there was more that I can't think of off the top of my head. Gratitude was probably one of them. Journaling was probably one of them. Um, but what's, what's a takeaway that you have, or what is something that you're like, oh, I wish she would have talked more about blah, 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 um, and whatnot. And so you can always catch me on YouTube for Moon Astrology Tarot. I'm going to start incorporating, I mean, I kind of do already like talking about these things. Um, but I am working on clear, clearing and clarity in my presentations and whatnot. And so, um, you know, those sorts of things. I'm also starting to implement a few other specific niche areas of astrology um, that I'm learning more about all the time. Um, and so as I complete my re, um, refresher course in foundations, I'm going to be moving on to a niche area of astrology that I'm super excited about. However, the class has not been posted yet, so I'm not doing that class just yet, but I do have some intro materials that I have been working with to implement, um, into what I'm doing. So I don't want to like say it yet because I haven't taken the class yet. Um, but anyway, so I hope this series has been helpful. I know there's a lot of you that watch my channel that are, that are kind of new to working with spirituality. I know you're new to astrology and I don't expect you to know astrology. That's what I'm here for. I'm the one who can look at the charts and see the transits and the aspects and the numbers and all of the, the lines and things like that. And I'm perfectly happy to do that. Believe me, I nerd out on this shit pretty regularly. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, there are things that you can do if you know your astrology and if you understand how your body reacts and responds to different things. 
not everybody's going to be a sage smudger. Not everybody's going to use crystals. Not everybody's going to resonate with tarot or astrology. Um, I have talked to a couple of practitioners in the last couple of days who, you know, one studies human design. And when she speaks human design, it's one language. My language is astrology, but they both are the same. Like we can see the same in the charts. And so uh, it's really a matter of finding something that resonates with you and works for you that supports you in connecting to your your current physical body self, your spiritual higher self, your spiritual God source universe divine. Um, and really, I wanted to redefine that for a lot of people because I know there's a lot of people who are dealing with you know, maybe religious traumas or um, feeling disconnected from God source, universe, higher self, guardian angels, those sorts of things. And a lot of people that are, I mean, most of us have been conditioned and programmed to believe that these things are weird or they're scary or they're spooky or they're paranormal or all of the other words. Um, and so let me say, you know, occult is just unseen. Occult is not negative or positive. It is just simply unseen. So is astrology and spirituality occult? Yes, it is because it's simply unseen. Um, but you knowing how your body reacts, responds and being in tune to your senses, your vision, your smelling, your tasting, you what you hear, what you touch, what your physical energy field can perceive about an environment is something that you can do. Um, and so eliminating neurotoxins like household cleaners, adjusting your diet to eliminate all the extra food toxins and shit they put in our food, um, eliminating or changing how you wear headphones or um, you know, things like that, what you, you know, the areas where you're like, you know, covering your skin. I feel like that's why I started wearing a lot more tank tops because I can like feel energy differently. I can interpret it differently. Um, and I'm really learning my digestive system and like what foods do I need to actually be eating and eating intuitively as opposed to just eating whatever food I have at my house. And so making those dietary shifts. Um, and things like that. And you really start to notice when you start to implement these shifts and changes, how your body then perceives or how your energy then perceives the world around you. And so um, my invitation as we close this out is if you are interested in the Aquarius self experiment is to drop me a comment or reach out to me directly. Um, you can do that on Instagram, drop a comment on YouTube um, or whatnot. Uh, and if you're interested in participating in that, um, you can work with me by getting an astrology reading. You can get your sun, your moon, your rising, and that can teach you a whole hell of a lot about yourself, your personality, your emotions, who you are, um, those sorts of things. Or you can get a full-blown reading and you learn all about your sun, your moon, your rising, your Mercury, your Venus, your Mars, your, your Saturn, your Jupiter, your, your Uranus, or your Uranus if you need to go that way. Neptune, and Pluto, all of the things. Chiron. Chiron can be really helpful and understanding um, yourself, your wound, your, your wounds, and what you can shift to actually teach the rest of the world or the people around you. And, um, or you can get a single, trans, single transit reading with tarot and oracle and with, with the eclipses coming up at the end of September, early October. Um, this is going to be a really dynamic time of eclipses and uh, you know, lots of change happening and things like that. So uh, we're shifting into a really exciting time and space. And so, you know, now would be a good time to really connect with your own sovereign individuality and know yourself, love yourself, accept yourself on a completely new level. And I can tell you after having done this work, I've been in the coaching industry since 2012. I have been a trained coach since 2017. And I've been in a deep healing journey since 2016. And, you know, the more I do this work, the shit works. But the shit only works if you work the shit. So <laughs> the work works when you work the work. But if you don't work the work diligently daily, um, it doesn't work. And a lot of people give up. And a lot of people say, no, nope, uh -uh, that's too much. That's too much work. That's too much effort. And is it a lot of effort? Yeah, it can be. It can be a lot. It can be a very overwhelming. But I can tell you from, you know, my own personal experience, it's been well worth every 
uh, every step of the way, even the difficult ones, even the times when I've told my coaches to fuck off. Yes, it has happened with multiple coaches. Okay. And I love them dearly, but they also get to confront me on the, my bullshit. So <laughs> uh, I am definitely not the easiest client, but I was a diligent, um, you know, long-term client to coaches that I'm still working with uh, on a regular. And when you have that relationship built up with those practitioners, um, they know you're, they know you're, they know what bullshit you try and throw at them. And they, they call you on it. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to have that type of relationship with those practitioners. And so I invite you to work with me or, uh, you know, someone else who resonates with you. If I'm where you're wanting to go, then, Hey, come along. Um, let's, let's go, let's go along for the ride together. So anyway, this was day 31 of the Aquarius experiment. Join me starting September 2nd on YouTube or on Instagram for the Aquarius self experiment will I, where I will be implementing all of the tools that I've talked about over the last month. It's on paper. Here it is. I'm not going to let you free screen it. Well, you can if you can try, but um, there are steps that I have written down and uh, I'm going to work through them, experiment with them, see what works, what doesn't. And, uh, you know, maybe there'll be a big launch by October or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have some ideas and I want to feel through them before I speak into them. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you, Moon Astrology Tarot, over on YouTube. Bye-bye.